flowers. Thank everybody who uh, put the flowers in the chat. I appreciate y'all. Give me my flowers while I'm here. Okay, while I can see them. I appreciate y'all. Um, now, listen, listen, listen. Listen. Who else we got? Oh, Oprah and Taraji. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why are y'all telling me that Oprah and Taraji are beefing? And people are really uh, looking at their body language and pictures. Uh, everybody feels away. Uh, Taraji don't look happy at all right there. Okay. Taraji and then Oprah like holding her like, <laughs> like smile for the picture. So um, people have been, you know, uh, feeling like there's some tension between Oprah and uh, Taraji, especially since... Uh, Taraji uh, did an interview where she broke down crying and said, you know, and spoke about her struggles being an actress and being, you know, acknowledged for her talents as an actress. So in this video where uh, Taraji spoke about this. So Taraji recently did an interview. Uh, and she shared it on her page. And she said, the math ain't mathing. And here is what Taraji said. Oh, let me put my disclaimer up for this because I don't know if people are going to come for me. Y'all know the drill. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act. Allowance is made for a fair use for purposes such as criticism, coming, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. What are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? We are... Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are researching. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Um. You get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yes. Or have to. Mm. Oh, well, I'm tired of working too. I told y'all I do not like to work. <laughs> That's why I took a week off. But uh, yeah, I, listen. I, mm. The math ain't mathing. Mm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes, us. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that. Ooh, is she spilling all the tea? At, off the top. Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do the math. Mm -hmm. Now we have 5 million. Mm -hmm. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is getting off of what you grossed, Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only human. And, and mm -hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again. Mm -hmm. Like I never mm -hmm. did what mm -hmm. I just did. And I'm just mm -hmm. tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's tired for real. She is crying. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know? Because what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is that telling me? What is it telling me? Yeah. And what does it tell me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, don't apologize. <sighs> don't apologize. I, I think it's an important message for people to hear because we see the lights, camera, action. Yep, yep, yep. And then and they tell so me glamorous. we don't yes. translate overseas. Yeah. 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 I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game. And I hear the same thing and I see what you do for another production. And when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play. Yeah, I got so many questions. I mean, is she talking about the color purple or is she talking about Hollywood in general? Y'all let me know. Press one if you think she's talking about her time on the color purple. Press five if she, you think she's talking about Hollywood in general. In your face. There you have it. Uh, that was the end of it. Now, since that time, people have been looking at videos of Taraji and Oprah, as in this TikTok video right here. Let's see. 
Okay, so in this video where they were doing some promo on um, in New York, Taraji and Oprah seem to be like a little distant from each other. And people in the comment section noticed it and they are questioning what is going on. Child, I just want to know what did Oprah do to Taraji? Like, check this out. Look how she walk up, right? They all walking up. Look at it. Look, okay, look. They don't greet each other. Taraji looking over here in space. Just so you don't have to make eye contact with Oprah. Oprah doesn't turn to the side and say to, say anything to her. Okay. I can't remember her name. I think her name is Danielle. This other actress. I don't know. I'm not going to lie on her, but I love her. Here come Fantasia. Hey, look, she right there by Taraji, right? Right? And look what she do. Look what she do. Scoot them down and get at the end. Now, where y'all know Oprah to want to miss up on being in the middle in a photo? We go. Mm -hmm. Where you know her did not want to be in the middle of a photo, y'all. Everybody right down here. So yeah, I'm believing those rumors that they got a beef going on. Maybe maybe over one try to give to Roger them coins. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Mm. Leave y'all uh pains and thoughts below. Y so everybody is, you know, talking about this clip. Hold on, it's some more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is uh Mick Mick? Here she is right here. And so in this video, which is one of the originals, this is the original video. And in the comments, everybody's talking about it in the comments. Like, look at how Taraji, look at Taraji's face. She's looking up. She's looking away. She's, her body language, she seems a bit closed out. I don't know. You think you could escape now? I can't tell. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so the girl said cause Oprah moved to the end. There we go. Where are we looking? Right here. Oh, wait, we're starting right down here. Okay. Everybody right down here, and then we're gonna go all the way around the, around the ring. Come on, Santa Shop. I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of it. Y'all remember Monique did bring it up. Monique did say when she had to promote Precious, uh, she turned down promoting Precious because they were not paying. They weren't paying for travel. They weren't paying for glam. They weren't paying for anything. And she would have had to come out of her pocket to promote the film. Yeah, she did end up winning the Oscar, but that's besides the point. Now, uh, in this situation, I, I don't know if they're paying them for promo or not. I do know that they stylists be on point, like Taraji stylists be on point. Oprah style is beyond what Fantay. Everybody style. Everybody looks good. Okay, everybody looks damn good when you look at these. Uh, with everybody in the in the pictures and in the video, everybody is fashionable. Everybody is stylish. Everybody is color coordinated. Everybody looks amazing. So I don't know if they getting paid. If they stylists getting paid. If they glam squads getting paid. Somebody's getting paid. But there was also a story. You know, Fantasia had um mentioned that uh she had missed her flight one time and oprah sent her a private jet somebody paying for something so i listen i don't know uh you said you remember when steve harvey failed to support monique and then they came for him sorry monique spoke her truth okay well you know let's let's talk about monique for a second let's 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 go let's rewind a little bit and talk about monique because i did pull up a video uh from monique hold on y'all remember this the scripts were coming and when people say, Monique, where have you been? It's not that I haven't been on TV or been in the movies because I've been blackballed, as Mr. Mc as Mr. Daniels has said. The offers just didn't make sense, Don. So, again, the phones didn't stop ringing and the scripts didn't stop coming. But the offers that were associated with them were offers that made me say, guys, I can't accept that. Because if I accept that and I won the award, what are my sisters being offered that didn't win the award or wasn't nominated. And what does it say to the little girl who's not here yet, that if we continue to accept, accept these low offers, however, do we make it different and make- I'm just tired of working so hard. 
Yeah. Shout out to Freddie O for putting this clip together. Put Monique uh, and Taraji, you know, in the same clip because we got uh, Monique saying what she said that she wasn't getting paid, and now we have Taraji crying about the situation about working hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Or have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes. us. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. So do the math. 50. Now we have 5 million. Your 50% team is getting 30% or whatever your team is off of what you gross. Not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm. So I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only human. And, and mm -hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again. Mm -hmm. Like I never mm -hmm. did what I just did. Mm -hmm. And I'm just tired. tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know, because mm -hmm. what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is that telling me? What is it telling me? Now, you know, everybody's speculating and saying that she's talking about the color purple, but Taraji did, you know, come out and say, oh, it's not Oprah. It's not Oprah. So she posted this today. She wanted to clear the air. She, Taraji's like, I don't want no smoke now. She posted this nice picture of her and Oprah. You know, she's leaning in. They both leaning towards each other. For all the people who say it, talk about body language. They both leaning toward each other, even though they, they got their hands in front of them. Ain't nobody hugging or nothing, but it is what it is. Taraji said it is so important for black women and all women of color to support each other. It is also imperative to have women of color in decision-making positions across all industries. Thank you for responding to my message with the compassion, understanding, and support that I've received. And she put the purple hearts emojis. With that being said, Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all of the cast of The Color Purple. Three exclamation points. She has provided encouragement, guidance, and unwavering support to us all. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed, and I did. It took one call, one conversation, and one decision-making black woman to make me feel heard. Thank you, Miss Oprah, for all that you do. So, I mean, you know, you could take it as Shay. You could take it as anything you want to take it, but you, listen, she cleared the air. <laughs> she cleared Oprah's good name. <laughs> Oprah people called to Roger into the office. Uh, you have an agreement. You're not supposed to talk in any type of derogatory manner. You're not supposed to disparage any of uh, the producers of the show. And you need to clear this up, honey. You need to clear this up. <sighs> you said her agent's message was plain. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? Well, you know, she was tearful. She was on Gail King's show. She said what she said, even though her fellow castmates who were sitting next to her did not chime in. I didn't like that. I didn't like the fact that uh, Taraji up here crying. She stressed. She's trying to figure out how she's going to eat, how she's going to pay her bills. And then her castmates sitting next to her like, mm, mm, mm. it's so sad. Mm. You know, so. <sighs> but if she say they all right, then it's all right. The movie will be out on Christmas Day and y'all should go see it and support Taraji Fantasia and all of the other black actors and actresses in the film, okay? Uh, Taraji handled it well. She, you know, Tar Taraji been in this industry a long time. She knows she is media trained, well media trained. But, you know, she got some off her chest and like she said, she called Oprah <laughs> and I guess she got a check. She got something. I don't know. Maybe, you know, she didn't maybe she didn't get it at first, but she got it now. So, you know, the solution has been done. Let's move on. 
uh like this video as y'all come in here please i appreciate y'all for joining you said uh that's how it is don't nobody want to mess up their bag okay especially if these relationships in hollywood <laughs>